that extraordinary day on Friday, the 6th of July, 2018. It was just an amazing experience of actually driving a real steam engine for the first time in my life. We were all waiting in Oldsford train station for the locomotive to arrive, but I still had no idea what I was driving until the guy came in with all the notepads, all the names, and the date and times, and the timetable. <laughs> but then he announced that the locomotive we're going to be using is the 9F. But when I saw the 9F, reversing onto the platform. I was feeling very nervous and pretty terrified actually, if I had to be honest. I was the youngest person there, so I guess they needed uh, these big guns for, uh, for the heavy lifting, for the shoveling, because they needed a young person, a person with skill, quality and perfection. When we first got moving, the ride was pretty rough. It just felt like being in an earthquake. And, well, a very hot earthquake. But the sound was, it was, everything was loud. We had to shout to communicate. And to be honest, I wasn't a very good stoker. I kept making a lot of mistakes. And I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't give my 100% best because I was really nervous. Uh, <laughs> but the, the, I still remember the heat, the fire, the sounds, the smell. It's, it was, I was really terrified. But then I, about in between to 10 minutes to about half an hour, I, I just started to get used to it. But that's then, that's when we had to change. So then I was driving the locomotive back. Well, the one of the worst things I had to put up with was the seats, if you can call them seats. But basically they were just wood and metal. And the only cushion that was provided by you, or to you, sorry, was your own arse. I was actually glad that I was actually shoveling the coal uphill and just letting the train roll back down the hill as I, when I was driving it. So I think it was pretty easy for me because I didn't really have much to do. I just let the train roll and just had my hand on the brake the whole time. But one of the experiences I really enjoyed was actually having the chance to get to blow a real steam engine whistle. And I've been, you hear it in films where people say, I've always wanted to do that like my whole life like uh, Back to the Future Part 3, uh, the Polar Express, and th those are the only two films I know. But you see my point, it was just one of those lifetime experiences where you feel like a child again, even though you have to be over 18 to actually get to do the experience. But even though I do have a mind of a six-year-old child, I felt like a child when I just put my hand on that lever and just blew that amazing, I could still hear the sounds of that magnificent steam whistle. But if I had to decide which job I would prefer to do, either to be the stoker or the driver, I think I would prefer shoveling the coal. And I know that's an idiotic choice because you have to work. They have to work the hardest. Um, it's just it's just a, a, a big job to do. But it's in my opinion, it feels like you're doing all the work, and that's a good feeling. So you just have to keep feeding the beast, the amazing nine F beast, the big metal beast. That's uh, that's what I like to call the 9F because it, it, it's enormous. It's just an enormous steam engine and it's 
fantastic and I just love it in every single way. But the driving part was fun. I, di I did feel very nervous when I had the locomotive in my control, but it was just really moving the levers for what you do in a video game, except they're hot, they're very heavy, and they were very stiff. You need, needed some oil on those. And then get some oil on that next time. There was a special technique for when you were shoveling coal, because I thought you just get the coal up and just throw it in the fire, but actually the boiler or the firebox was enormous. It was like this big. So what I had to do is I had to get the coal from where the fire can actually, well, where, 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 where the, 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 the shovel can't go because the firebox door thingy was incredibly small. So we had to get the coal into the firebox, but behind it as well, if that makes sense. Probably, probably it doesn't, by the way I'm describing it. So what you had to do is you had to actually twist your wrists as you were shoveling the coal. You had to throw it in the fire, but twist as well so the coal would fly to one side. It was very hard to do. I think that was the hardest job I had to do because like the coal was heavy, but even trying to throw it in the fire, then alone trying to fly it to one side, it was just, it was very painful and I actually got a red, very sore wrist after that. So um, this is a replacement, this is a brand new wrist because my other wrist was very damaged and very sore. So I went to the shops and I bought myself a new wrist. This is a brand new wrist, by the way. So um, I, can, um, I can do this with it. I can, I can do uh, this with it. Or if someone annoys me, I can do this. So there's a lot of uh, functions I've got with this new wrist. It's, an, it's, a, it's a metal wrist, so it may, it may not look metal because it's um, it's camouflage. It's um, it's an app you can get. It's it's it's, it's an app wrist, so um, so it's it's a good wrist. So no more wrist pains for this arm, which is which is fine by me. I did not feel like a hero when the day ended. People just got changed back into their everyday clothes and just got in their cars and went home. But for me, I, I bought my, my, own, uh, my own boiler suit, my own gloves, my own shoes. I even had my own shoes. But I just wanted to stay longer and do it all again. <laughs> but it's just one of those times where you have to say goodbye. If I had the chance to do it again, I definitely would. I would absolutely do it again. It was just one of those days you just have to do it more than once. And I think probably in the new year that's to come, 2019, LaserJet will drive another steam engine again. I don't know when, I don't know what month, I don't know what time, but I know for certain that in 2019, I'm definitely gonna do this again.